34 seconds left oh, in God. the first quarter. Goes up on the wing. Give me that try. Often. I should have made that. It's a rebound. <laughs> All right, gaming family, welcome back to the channel. It's your brother LVG. We're going to continue on with episode two of the My Career of NBA 2K23. We beat whatever the hell his name was. He thought he was all that and inside, but we shut that down. Right now, I'm at level 80. Uh, excuse me, overall 80, level four. Man, I ain't going to hold y'all up. I don't be doing too good. Uh, but it's all right. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm learning. Real quick, if you are new to the channel, I appreciate you coming through. So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share the video, and then come on back for the next episodes. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. All right, so we are about to face the Pelicans. First in the West, and we are first in the East. Pretty sure I ain't going to be starting, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's get it. MP, it's going great on, to man. finally meet you. Uh, What's up, bro? Online, man. How you doing? Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. You're one data obsessed cat, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you can never have too much data. I still ain't fixed my eyebrows. Glad you came. Uh, look, this Shep thing. It's about not it. going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll beat We're him again. Put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on the start of your career. Okay. Yeah. So just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep, and of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Damn. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Mm. Papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure so you're telling me I can't start. Them. Oh, I did. Okay, look, there's no reason to think that you're not going to take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play, and we've got a distraction on our hands. It's bad for your growth, bad for team chemistry, and it makes Phil Boyer look bad. So what you saying? He stuck his neck out for you on draft night. But I beat okay, him, though. So What's the solution? Glad you asked. We focus on the fan base and we develop a strategy to win their affection. Okay, it sounds like my playing time is based on <laughs> what, if I can make the fans like me or not? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's ridiculous, but everything's connected. Okay. If we don't deal with this in a holistic manner, it could affect the bottom line. Holistic. When the bottom line's affected, governors aren't happy. And when the governors aren't happy, nobody's happy. Well, damn. I just want to be a pillar in the community. Mm -hmm. So if we can make the happen as part of that, I'm in. I don't want to do a bunch of PR fluff, though. Same page. Same page. 100%. Okay. And I've already talked to your team about all of this. Impressive group of people, by the way. And they're going to take the lead on it. But my door is always open. Freddie, I really appreciate your transparency, man. I'm just Truly. doing my job. Just doing my job. Just doing Believe my job. It's doing my job. It's an honor to work with someone as talented as UMP. I know it is. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish together. And accomplish a championship. You put me in a damn game. You're here nice and early. Love to see it. Still in my job, coach. Humble and hardworking. Those qualities like Ooh, to see. Look at that haircut. But you already knew that. <laughs> Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. All right. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here before every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen. People perform or they mm -hmm. don't, mm -hmm. so it'll change from time to time. All right, well, hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. You keep doing the right things. You'll be there sooner than you think. Yeah. yeah. Plan. All right, hey, come on, let me show you my office. Come on in. Where is it? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think we're on a starting board, sir. I know you're anxious to find out how you're going to fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hype, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the Summer League Championship. Oh. Yeah, you were okay. very clear about that. And I won. Communication is super important in this organization, so I am glad to hear you say that. And I'm also glad to let you know that you'll be our sixth man to start the season. Sixth man. Okay, that ain't bad. That ain't too bad. Okay, can't be mad at that. I thought you'd be a little higher in the joy scale than can't be mad at that. Joy scale. Coach, you're a life coach on the side? You're getting a little pocket money there? Yeah, I joke <laughs> when I'm upset, too. I'm not upset. It's just... I haven't come up the bench since my freshman year of college. And before that, never, really. I get that. But six men at this level is a big responsibility. People have long careers in that role, and you haven't even played a game yet. I feel you. 
I feel you, man. It's just I have high expectations for myself, and I'm not exactly at a 10 on the joy scale just yet. I get it. 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You want to make it here, you got to have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly. Are we doing? <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's a tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? Ah, Koshi, I'm ready. Let's get it. Y'all gonna pass me the ball? See you out there. Y'all gonna pass me the ball? That's nice. Go ahead and send me in, y'all. Send, send me, let me in. CJ McCollum out there with Brandon. Send to next appearance. Let's go. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. Let's go. There we go, y'all. My matchup. Jose Alvarado. Feeling as they tip off this break. Hold on, what we go? How are we gonna do this? Give me a quick ice up. Right. Give me a screen. This is their first chance to showcase all the hard work they put in during the offseason. There we go. Why did it glitch like that though? All right. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. He said, Woo! 141 left in the first quarter. Let's go. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Murphy against Harris. There you go. Oh, good so block, good block, good block. To retain possession here. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And right well, you gotta look at it three times now. Come on to now. Set the tone defensively. You gotta love that energy. All right, block him up, block him up, block him up. You ain't going nowhere, Jose. And so it's New Orleans with it. Four oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. clock at six. Here's Graham. Brooklyn with the rebound. How is it possible? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Two. <laughs> and after that trade request this summer, Kevin Durant still. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. The offers oh, damn. To move the needle. And the decision was made. That's okay, that's okay. We're going to get that, guys. We're going to get that. When you've got KD, you've got a chance. Can I get a steal though? They've been looking out of sync offense. Can I get a steal? Yeah. No? Their okay. offense has ground to a standstill. There's the pass to Alvarado. Oh snap. Oh no, he got past me, guys. Oh god. Okay, okay. They gotta do something. From deep. Yeah, let's go. That's leading by six. 34 seconds left oh, in the God. first quarter. Goes up on the wing. Give me that tray. Often. I should have made that. It's a rebound. Out to Harris for three. That's oh, but he gets to make it. Okay. His second basket. He's two for two. Okay. And you can't give Harris any breathing room to shoot, especially when he's looking to fire the three ball. That's that. I'm not happy about that. Graham serving. Well, what are we going to do, Graham? We're going to do nothing. Pass to Hayes. Feeds to Murphy. Three pointer. Graham. It's good from long range. I'll up you one, Devontae Graham said. Clapping back with that three. But if it goes. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's Brooklyn. With their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside. And it's working. I should have made that. I should have made that three though, not the one I just shot. <laughs> Excuse me, but the, the other one. And for those of you just tuning in, the second All right, we back in there. Come on. We're at right now. And looking at what we've Let's seen go. so far, guys, from the Nets, what do you think? In that first period, they showed a willingness down. to make the extra pass. Let's go. That's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into right, the on. clock and having to cover we... a lot more ground. Let's do that. Kyrie Irving is out there with the Cobra. Then it's O'Neal. Then it's Durant. And it's Simmons. Wait, how do I, how do I block? Position. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Passes it to the Cobra. Oh, damn, guys. And a miss there on the triple. Oh, I'm messing up. Oh my god. Oh my god. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. They trail by six. It's off to Charlotte for that was, that's a mismatch. How am I supposed to guard him? That will conclude their brief two-game road trip.
Such an effective playmaker. You gotta be impressed with CJ's ability to hit open teammates. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. Oh my god. You gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim. Oh, I'm looking so bad. I'm looking so bad right now. And let's make the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Last Bruh. season, we know the Pelicans Bruh. made that trade to bring in C.J. McCollum. He says... And he made it. Oh, they said sit my ass down. Okay, we're going to get back in this, guys. We're going we to improve. We got some, some points on the board. I got zero points, one rebound, one assist, one turnover. That is not good. So it's Brooklyn now. Nick the biggest of the game was nine. The Cobra passes to Claxton. Okay. And he can do a lot more damage. To let's, go. Than that. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, to. you're Come right. On. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Alvarado passes to Graham. What are we doing, Alvarado? Where are you going? Pass to Murphy. Here is Nance. Dude, get out of the way. Six on the shot clock. And the pass oh, God. Clock. Let's go. Target from outside. That's leading by seven. Here's the Cobra. Damn. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. New My timing is absolutely horrible. From three point range so far okay. In the second quarter. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. My timing is absolutely horrible. I mean, maybe when I get some more badges, we're going to be all right, but... For the time being, so it's a oh my god! Three second difference between shots. I should just went for the layup, shouldn't I, guys? That's what I get for trying to be fancy. What you gonna do? Shut him down. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. This is really? the first free throw. Of the really? Game. Really? No. Nope. shooter at the line. There we go. Ago, those are better. Let's do another one. Probably a little draft in the arena. Damn, he made it tonight. He's the last guy you expect now, let's go, to man. miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. All right, come on, come on, come on. Here's oh! He was, he was in my damn way. But doesn't fall. And so we conclude the first half. 43. The Pelicans. 37. I apologize for, uh... <laughs> For my performance right now, guys. 86. Oh, he about to tear me up. Thomas comes in for Seth Curry. And it's the Cobra in for Kyrie Irving. New Orleans also making some changes. Hayes comes in for Zion Williamson. Uh -uh. And it's Nance in for Jones. So the Pelican We can't lose our first game, guys. We can't do this. Hayes is out there with Larry Nance. Then there's McCollum. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Valanciunas. And at the five down low. Last two minutes to play. Third quarter. Flip Here's side, flip side, flip, 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 flip. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Shot clock at five. Damn. Three pointer off the mark. Pelican. Maybe I need to go back to the uh, park or something and practice. The team. How am I supposed to guard him? How am I supposed to guard him? If they can keep everyone healthy, they can be a force. Here's Valanciunas. Oh my God. The Pelican scores. Asserting his will offensively. Valanciunas taking over. In the third quarter with just no, I was trying to pass it to uh, KD, but I guess that's fine. Count it. Simmons got four points now in the quarter. Health is at the top of the list. You're right. And about right, the Pelicans. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? They've had some bad luck in recent years regarding injuries, haven't they? Yes, yeah, starting with Zion, Kevin. Out most of last year, it really hurt them. But they got a lot of leadership on this team. If they can pull it off. Can y'all stop fouling? Steve last season the oh my god in of progress over previous years well Kevin secure there I'm a C plus in three years yeah I definitely call that solid progress but he makes that second I shot think this team could be on track to only get better looking at who's out there now for the Nets TJ Warren comes in for O'Neal and Joe right, we gonna do guys what we gonna do what we gonna Simmons. do Simmons. the Cobra passes to KD with the fadeaway Again, the Nets for two. <laughs> what versatile shooting by KD, making the most of a mid-range look. Oh. Passes to Alvarado. 
Out of bounds, Pelicans ball as New Orleans keeps possession. Devontae Green. Well, we steal the ball, we got to keep the ball, okay? We got to stop knocking it out of bounds. There's 39 seconds left in the third. Here's Hayes. Thomas grabs the rebound. That's leading by eight. Warren against Graham. Right side Warren. Sweet little floater. Warren's got the lead up to 10 now for the Nets. Showing some assertiveness inside. Warren knows you can't. Give me that steal. Give me that steal. If you play scared. Beyond the arc. Oh my damn. They get the rebound, and it's Warren with the chance. That's at least a something. Doing his job on the glass and I just want to make one tray. I just want to make one tray. Just one. Please. Get them bad ass kids off the screen. Who's the assist of the game? Me? Man, I don't care. State Farm assist. checked in for the Nets. Oh, 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 oh. NBA okay. title, but also you've got some gold medal memories. How does it compare winning for a city versus representing and winning for your country? Kevin, both incredibly proud moments. Winning an NBA title is this awesome. is a mismatch. Look out! Oh my God! Gold medal for your country. You said it. It's represent your country. It was a dream come true. Out of shut up. Is out there with the Cobra. Then it's T.J. Warren. Then there's Ben Simmons. And it's Claxton in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the Nets five. Come on, y'all got to Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. Whether it be rebounding, driving the ball, in transition, Zion always looking to attack. To the right side. Here's the Cobra into the... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Irving against Oh my Irving. god, Irving. Connects on the nine footer. The handles of CJ McCollum on full display. Now Irving. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Pass to the Cobra. Looking to get back. Give me that, give me that. Please, 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 please. And Simmons slams it in. And forget the pretty offensive skills. Simmons using his make nothing, guys. some pretty points on that play. Oh, my God. McCollum against Irving. They grab their own miss. And the dunk by Williamson. Y'all can't and be afraid to play some defense. Becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. G.A. such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Outside Irving. Take that, Reed. Let's go. I clearly don't like it. Fork is up the system. No turnovers. Kyrie Irving gets his feet set. It is automatic. Plain and simple. He stopped. He stopped. Oh, my damn. Cohen's got four points this quarter. I gotta work and on my acceleration. I gotta work on my strength. That's going to prevent I gotta work on my damn trees. From scoring. I need some trees. A dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. This team needed a spark, and boy, did they get one with that incredible attack at the rim. The three. Oh my God. Here's Claxton, and he jams it with authority. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for Brooklyn. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but you know they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the story. Yeah, Kevin. Are you talking about me? By no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. Oh and my the God! Their first official win of the new year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here. Look at who's guarding me. They'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, that was a really phenomenal all-around game for Kyrie Irving. Shoulder in the Man, it wasn't that good. All night offensively. He I know I'm in, being a hater, but. ready to go, and he delivered. From 11 feet away, again, the Pelicans score.
On the heels of this run, you wonder where was this effort earlier on? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now, or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Six seconds separate in the shot and game. Play. Wow, and that was a foul. he overdid it there. Too much force. It looked like and he overdid it there. The and ben Kevin, Seaman. that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way as much as you just saw him be there. I'm glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And there's the pass to the Cobra. Oh my god, I finally got a point. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around. Nah, you're gonna get that try on me, sir. Were focused, relentless, I finally got a point. I finally got a damn point. Fantastic win tonight, MP. Thanks, John. Thank you. What was your favorite part of tonight? Uh, oops. Game. Favorite part of tonight's game. Uh, picking up the W, proving I belong here. I mean, we're going to be a little cocky. You know, John, there was a lot of noise this offseason about whether I was the right pick at 18. So it felt <laughs> it felt really good to get out there and just <laughs> proving my worth and proving that I was the right choice. He said proving. You know, I was so sick and tired about hearing about the right choice and P this and P that. You know, I just <laughs> wanted to be about it. Man. Well, you were certainly about it tonight. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what you got in store for us next time. Thanks, John. Appreciate you. There were a lot of media outlets in the preseason that made a big deal about the fan base's so-called negative reaction to you on draft day. But I did see quite a few people in the stands supporting you. Yeah. Could you speak a little bit about that? Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Uh, community is everything. Community. Community is everything to me. So it's very important for me to have the fans on my side. You know, with that being said, it's only up to me to give them a reason to cheer to smile, to have something to look forward to, you know, and with the season only just starting, you know, I'm not surprised if they're not fully on board yet. Okay, but is it fair to you to have to prove yourself like that? Is there any part of you that wishes you were perhaps given the benefit of the doubt? Not with that uh, game. Is it fair? I don't know. John, life ain't fair. <laughs> you know, my parents used to always tell me that when I felt bad for myself. Mm. Wise words. Truly. Truly, you know, uh, yeah. But as far as, you know, Getting the, the benefit of the doubt goes, I'm more comfortable being in a position where I got to prove myself. Always have, always will. You know, that's just a natural part of sports. You know, first you got to prove yourself to your teammates that you can be trusted to deliver. Man, you're talking a lot. Then, if you do that and get results, the fans will follow. So, I'm not really worried about it. We ain't got no cool results, so we got... Cucumber. We have two <laughs> points. Sure the fans will love that quote. One rebound, hey, five assists, and Anytime, what, bro. one, two turnovers? Okay, I will let him know. What up, Rick? You good? Hey, uh, yeah, I just got off the phone with Othello Akpem's assistant, and, uh... Ooh. The big boss man wants to see you. Oh, shit. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean, that's not really his reputation. So... Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. I'm about to get kicked off the team, guys. Um, okay. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You got any advice? Go in there with an open mind. See what they want to talk about and come back here and we'll talk about it. All right. Bet. Oh, MP. shit. Come on in, take a seat. What's up, MP? Okay. He mad as hell. <laughs> Mr. Akpim. What I tell you about that? Othella, please. I mean, my bad, you got it. So, about Shep. Oh, you too. Now, just listen. We knew the PR hit we take for picking you over him. But that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right, well, I'm willing to put in the work. On and off the court. So whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talked uh, to Freddie. Uh-oh. Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddy? Freddy's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative, you're a ball player, not a politician. We put together a very Ooh. specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. 
okay, Freddie made it seem like I had to do a bunch of PR stuff just to get my shot with the stars. That's flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you ever want to talk, or if Freddie gives you a hard time, whatever, my door is always open. Oh, so I'm not, I'm not fired? Thank you, Mr. Ockpin. Othella. Othella. I mention it. Thank me by putting in the work. Right. See you, coach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll link up with you later, man. All right, have a great one. Yo, you, you want me to come back? No, 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 you good, you good. You sure? Yeah, I just wanted to talk with you about your meeting with Othella. <sighs> to be honest with you, man, uh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. <coughs> so you know something? Man, I'm all over it. So what's your take on it then, man? And one ear, I got Freddy tell me one thing, and the other I have Othella basically forbidding me to talk to Freddy. Oh, well, he forbid you? Well, not exactly, but he's not happy that I'm talking to him. I mean, the thing is, you know, when you're over the fans, I'm all for. It is my thing. It's a great idea. It's well-researched. But, Rick, man, if it's me stepping on people's toes, I'm not for it. Look, I don't want to make the coaching staff angry. That's not going to happen, all right? So what's the plan, man? <laughs> well, first of all, relax. All right, everything's fine, man. It's just a little palace entry. That's palace all. Palace entry. All right, sure. Look, your president of basketball ops, Phil Boyer, mm -hmm. he's feeling the heat right now. He underestimated the PR hit that he would take by drafting you while Shep is still on the board. And optics, for better or worse, are very important for a man in his position. Yeah, I mean, he's got a career to consider, so I get it. Okay, so if you take this whole thing seriously, it'll do a great deal of getting you ahead. Mm, okay. Well, like I said, I I'm down for whatever. Just say the word. All right, that's good, that's good. But meanwhile, you still got Othello Akpim thinking that Freddie's some existential threat. A threat? Yeah. Yo, bro, what is he, like, angling for his job? Dude is in marketing, man. I don't know. Stranger things have happened, man. Wow. Uh, hey, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. We gonna listen to Coach. Him. I mean, that was my read, too, but, I mean, I don't mean Othello's not worried. Look, the way he sees it, Phil's legacy is tied to you, which means that Freddie's got his ear because you come with a lot of media baggage. Okay, again, that part makes sense. Okay, plus you got the whole data-driven angle. And you gotta remember, Othello's old school, like a real yeah. scouts and chalkboards type. Yeah. Thinks that anybody with a computer is trying to push him out the league. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, so all I'm saying is you just got to you gotta walk a real fine line here, man. I mean, goes without saying, you have to perform. <laughs> Yo, the, the funny thing is, that does not seem to be the focus right now <laughs> at all. Like, I mean, you want the money, right? Hey, hey. Then this all comes with it. Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I just think it's funny, man. <laughs> Look, all <laughs> thing is that we got to be delicate, all right? So instead of launching this, you know, full-on PR blitz, probably on the lines of what Freddie would want, mm -hmm. Let's dip our toes in this whole plan to win over the fans. I think I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You want slow play. Slow play, it. exactly. All right. It's not like we won't do nothing. We'll just ease into it. Keep Othello and Freddie happy, which keeps Phil happy. Okay. Which makes us one big, happy, slightly dysfunctional family. Okay, okay, okay. I can, <laughs> it's all making sense now. Um, so when we start, man. Well, Mila and Ashley are running point on this, so I'm sure they'll hit you up when they got something to say. Yo, let them know whenever, wherever, it don't matter. I'm there. I'm your guy. Okay, Let's get okay, I get it. <laughs> Look, in the meantime, you just focus on ball, all right? Hit the goals that Othello and Coach G gave you, win some games maybe, and we're going to be golden. Win some games. I'm hit some saying. threes. Yeah, ain't no issue. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be. Right. Make a layup. All right, get out there, man. No more turnovers. Uh, y'all know what? I'm about to end the gameplay right here. I appreciate you coming through. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Share the video. Come on back. I'm out. Peace and love. Y'all be safe out there.